Next process is liming. Bakit kailangan na natin mag-lime? Sabi ko nga, yung liming or yung lime, that is a type of um, neutralizer. Uh, pinapataas niya ang um, pH level ng ating soil. So, liming is the application of calcium and magnesium compounds to the soil for the purpose of reducing soil acidity. So, dito sa liming process natin, kailangan natin itong maisagawa para ma-reduce yung acidity ng ating soil. Okay? So, it is usually applied during or after the pan drying stages. Kung mapapansin ninyo, kanina, uh, before yung ating pan drying, pwede tayo mag-apply. And then, after the pan drying, mag apply tayo ulit. So, ito na yung tinatawag natin na line. Okay, basahin nyo na lang. Next is, ito yung example ng mga limes. No? Limestone. Calcium car carbide. Calcium hydroxide. Yun. Next, dito na tayo mag-fill in ng water. After sa ating liming, we will do the filling in of water. Uh, magpapapasok na tayo ng tubig. But, make sure na yung water natin is hindi pa totally puno yun. No? So, sir, for example, kung 1 meter yung ating tubig, half meter muna yung ating uh, i-fill in. Or depende pa rin sa um, species na kinukulture ninyo or depende sa pag uh, sa inyong strategy, depende sa inyong mga manager kung papaano or anong level of the water yung i-fill in lamang. Kasi, after this, maglalagay pa tayo ng pesticide. After filling your water, the next step is application of pesticide in diluted water. Yung kanina kasi, apply tayo ng pesticide, wala pang water sa soil pa. This time, we will apply uh, pesticide in diluted water or sa tubig na mismo. Nakahalo na siya. So, some farms do this too for biosecurity purpose and to ensure that the pond is safe from pests and diseases. So, kumbaga naninigurado, no? Yung ibang mga farm, kaya naglalagay pa sila ng mga pesticide na hinahalo na doon sa water para ma-insure nila na wala na talagang presence of a pest and other na mga diseases na doon. Okay? So, these are example of chemicals used for application of pesticide. Chlorine, yung ating chlorine, trichlorophon, tisip cake, no? These are examples of chemical-based na mga pesticide na ginagamit natin sa water. <clears throat> okay, basahin nyo na lang. Next, and this is the last process which is the water culture or the water fertilization. Ano ba yung water culture? Pagpaparami ng water? Padaghanon ang tubig? No. Water culture is uh, dito na magpapatubo tayo ng natural food. So, maglalagay tayo ng fertilizer para tutubo na yung mga natural food na kailangan natin para ipakain doon sa ating mga fry or fingerlings later on kapag tayo ay magsa-stocking na. Okay? So, this are water culture fertilization process. So, we will use organic fertilizer. No? So, ngayon, gumagamit na tayo ng mga inorganic fertilizer para mas mapabilis yung um, uh, pagdami ng mga natural foods. In earthen pan, gumagamit tayo ng organic fertilizer. No? Like rice bran, yung mga compost and sewages. Yung iba, gumagamit tayo ng mga chicken manure, chicken dam. But it's not advisable in this, in it is not advisable in commercial um, culture or aquaculture kasi nga may mga dumi na present doon sa mga um, dumi ng hayop. But in earthen pan, in extensive culture, pwede gamitin yun kasi for consumption lang naman yun ng family or edi kaya uh, pwedeng ibenta but doon lang din sa mga kapitbahay na nasa paligid ninyo okay 
So the rate of application for pans, take note of this, ranges from 500 to 2,000 kilograms per hectare. So ganyan ka dami na amount or kilograms ang ina-apply sa isang 1 hectare fish pan. 500 to 2,000 kilograms of uh, fertilizer yung ating ina-apply. So ayun nga, inorganic fertilizer or synthetic fertilizer like yung uh, ammonium sulfate, ammonium phosphate, na, those are example of inorganic or uh, synthetic fertilizer. So, ang water culture, tandaan natin, this is the last part but very important part in um, the pan preparation. Kasi without this process, walang natural food na maipapakain doon sa ating mga isda later on kapag tayo ay nagsastocking na. Okay? So, ammonium phosphate, this is example, complete fertilizer, urea, the rate of application ranges from 25 to 100 kilograms. Okay, these are methods of uh, fertili fertilizer application. Pwede i-dissolve natin ang fertilizer in a bucket of water and then i-stir natin and sprinkle doon sa fish pan at different points. So, hindi, meron lang mga points doon sa fish pan or parts of fish pan na doon i-apply and then Later on, magdahan-dahan na yun siya na hahalo yun sa ating uh, fish pan. Yan. <clears throat> These are example of fertilizer application for earthen ones. So, ito yung method na usual na ginagamit natin. I will not discuss this anymore kasi napaka na nito. Complicated. So... In organic farm manure, so these are example. Um, the, uh, these are content, no, of organic compared to chemical base na mga fertilizer. So babasa yun na lang and i differentiate niyo kung ano ang tama or ano ang dapat ginagamit natin um, in terms of ating kung anong culture species yung ating uh, culture, no and how much amount yung ating ilalagay dyan. Okay? So, thank you for listening. That is our pan preparation. So, guys, please um, review your pan preparation, the processes, the step by step. Kailangan hindi magkakahal, uh, magraramble, kumbaga, yung ating step by step process. Kailangan talaga na naka step by step or arrange yung ating pagpapan preparation. Okay, thank you so much.